you know what? I am no longer a gaming channel. I'm a pizza channel now. Hmm. Pizza's been around for over 10,000 years, as history shows records of people adding a bunch of ingredients to their breads for a long, long time. In the 6th century BC, the Persian soldiers actually baked some flatbreads with cheese and dates on top of their battle shields. Imagine cooking a pizza on your shield! That's so badass! Originally, pizza was used as a last resort meal for people that didn't have a lot of money. Since it was super easy and cheap to make, it was commonly associated with low-income families. And according to some research, people actually thought that tomatoes were poisonous, which is why pizza was reserved for the poor, as they actually had no choice but to eat what they had. Kinda sad. But thankfully, tomatoes are not poisonous, and pizza is wonderful. The first pizzeria in the world was opened in Port Alba in Naples, Italy, during the late 1800s. It was called Antica Pizzeria, and were the ones that created the original Margarita Pizza, which they named after the Queen Margarita of Italy. And the first pizzeria in the United States was opened in New York City in the early 1900s. It is called Lombardi's, and was originally a grocery store before they started selling pizza. Because it became super popular, a lot of pizza shops started to open all over the city. But despite pizza being sold in the early 1900s, the dish became super popular in the United States after World War II. A large number of US soldiers were actually stationed in Italy during the war, and they grew to eat and really like pizza. So when they returned from war, they spread the word and pizza became the big thing that it is today. In the United States, over 1 billion frozen pizzas are sold every single year. That's a lot of frozen pies. Typically, pizza is actually pretty cheap, but if you want to eat the most expensive pizza in the entire world, you'll have to go to Salerno, Italy. The Pizza Louis 13 has a price tag of $12,000 and will be cooked in your home by the chef. The ingredients include caviar, lobsters, cilento, mozzarella cheese, and pink Australian sea salt. Dang! That must be quite the experience. And if you're looking for a super expensive pizza that's a bit more, you know, local, then you should totally try the 24 karat gold pizza from Industry Kitchen in New York City. It's full of truffles, caviar and foie gras and costs $2,000. Look at it. Would you try it if you had the opportunity? I personally don't think it looks that good, but I'm sure it tastes great though. America's favorite topping for a pizza is pepperoni. Yay! And the least favorite topping is actually anchovies. It's not really a surprise to me, considering the smell. Ugh. Okay, try guessing how many slices are consumed per second in the United States. I'll give you like two seconds. One, two, okay, you guessed? Well, here's the answer. 350 slices of pizza every single seconds. That's a lot of pepperoni! An average American actually eats about 46 slices of pizza in a single year, according to a research. That's about 6 full pizzas, which in a year I can see myself eating easily. Yeah, yeah, you know what, that makes sense. Pizza is consumed all over the world, and many countries have their own take on this delicious meal. For example, in Japan, it is actually very common to eat mayo pizza. It sounds a bit weird, but I'd love to try it. The US military lab actually invented a ready-to-eat pizza that can last up to three years. Look at this beauty. Don't you just want to taste it? No? <laughs> Me neither. So apparently some people decided one day that it would be super cool to put pineapple on a pizza. And this monstrosity is called an Hawaiian pizza. Ugh, cringe. Despite the name, the Hawaiian pizza wasn't actually created in Hawaii. It was actually created by Sam Panopoulos in Canada in 1962 as a way to make his restaurant more unique. Well, I can sure tell you that it worked. In 2001, the Russian Space Agency actually delivered a 6-inch pizza to the International Space Station. This pizza actually cost $1 million to deliver, and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Usakov became the first person to receive a pizza delivery in space. 
Wow, that's pretty cool. The largest pizza ever created by mankind is 131 feet in diameter. It's called Otavia and took over 48 continuous hours to make. Dang. And that pizza is actually gluten-free and was made to create awareness for celiac disease and other gluten sensitivity issues. Now this is epic. Can you think of one day or one special occasion where pizza consumption would be at its most? Yup, that's right, the Super Bowl night. According to Pizza Hut, 2 million pizzas are being ordered during this one single night every single year. It makes sense, as pizza is delicious and super easy to share with everyone. Is pizza a breakfast? Hmm, well according to a study, 36% of Americans eat pizza as a breakfast meal. To be honest, I'm gonna plead guilty of having done this a couple times in the past. Cold morning pizza is actually very good, not gonna lie. Domino's Pizza in Brazil had one crazy idea in 2013 to promote, well, their pizza slices. They created DVDs that actually smelled like pizza when you played them. The disc would actually display a picture of a pizza on top of it after you pushed eject on the DVD player. It was using like thermal ink technology or something. It is like the dumbest idea ever, but also the coolest idea ever. Pizza is so popular in the US that 3 billion pizzas are actually sold each year. That amounts to 38 billion dollars worth of pizza every single year. Out of all the restaurants in the US, 17% of those are actually pizzerias. That accounts to approximately 70,000 pizzerias across the US. That is a lot of pizza. Did you know that there is a month dedicated to pizza? Well, apparently October is the national pizza month in the US. Does it matter? No, but I'm glad pizza has a dedicated month. Okay, I'll try to eat more pizza next October. According to Uber Eats, the day and moment where people order and consume pizza the most is on Saturday night dinners. Personally, I'm more of a Friday night pizza guy myself, but I can respect that. The average size for a pizza is about 14 inches in diameter. This size typically contains 8 slices and feeds 4 people. So originally, pizzas were not actually round. Nope, original Italian pizzas were actually shaped in a square size. Nowadays, this is referred to as the Sicilian cut, but it was actually the original cut. Every year, Domino's is holding a contest to find the fastest pizza making person on the planet. And this year, the winner was Zagros Jaff, who was able to make 3 whole pizzas in 70 seconds. That's like 23 seconds per pizza! Now this is impressive. On the Domino's Pizza website, you can create your pizza the way you want, selecting toppings, crust, sauce, etc. Their pizzas are so customizable that there's about 34 million different combinations of pizza possible. If I want to try them all, I better start now. And you know what? I'm hungry now. So I'll just go get myself a pizza. But in the meantime, you guys can subscribe, like, and check out more videos. Alright, bye!